Alrighty boys, welcome back to the channel. So we're currently possessing the cat, trying to find a way back out of this place. Okay, that's obviously the way out, but why can't I go over there? <gasps> Is this a little like a hidden area? <gasps> no, it's not. Never mind. I overreacted. Anyways, okay, let's go. Such a cute kitty. Oh wait, the, I don't think I need to, do I? Wait, Aha. Come back. Leaving so soon, dear. Yeah, sorry, uh, I'll be back. Don't wait up, father. Be careful out there, my child. No, no, father, come back, father, father. Damn it. How do I, oh, wait, wait, wait. Can I poltergeist this thing? Yeah, I can. Hells yeah. Yes, yes. Come investigate. Come, come. Hey. Now. Mush. What's gotten into you? I don't worry about that. Mush. Take me across this chasm of hell. This place is so cold tonight. Oh no, he's- what the hell? Did he just face through the freaking wall? What are you doing, father? Fa father uh, If I leak can I- I can't dispossess him. I'm stuck here. Oh no. Father, what have you done? Oh no, father, father, father. No, not again, not again, not again. I'm getting out of you. Oh my god, he just faced to the wall. Holy crap. He's insane. Oh, damn it. Motors can be activated to distract demons. This draws the demon's attention and allows you to sneak past them unnoticed. Using the ravens to distract the demon is often useful. Oh, you would have me right up front. And from demons can help you get closer to distract objects. She's right. What are you thinking? It's getting daylight. Track the demon. Us out there with all these murders. At least we're safe. <laughs> execute the demon. You must approach the demon from behind it, and we'll want to execute. If you want to execute, or attempt an execution. <laughs> Hey, got him. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Wait, there's a whole upstairs area. What the hell? I didn't notice that. Oh, seriously, it was too close. One D. Got it. Okay. Oh, what an asshole. Shut up, crow. Or raven, whatever. Wait, see, I can go upstairs. What the hell? I didn't know this was even up here. Wait, what was that? Holy crap, I don't know this was up here. Burned rectory plaque. Near this spot, the original St. Benedict's rectory was lost in flames in 1901. Okay. Interesting. This organ, rebuilt in 1919, is dedicated to the souls of, of those parish lost in the Great War. And this ain't one of those where I can just, like, hide it. See, it looks like there's, like, a hide thing there. There's something back there. How do I get over there? Oh, there we go. I guess I had to just get it at the right angle. Okay. Weird family. Not creepy at all. 
Second time's a charm. I I asked him to ask me again. I was I was lucky he hadn't left me after I never answered his first proposal. He must really love me. He smirked and got down on one knee, kneeling right in a dirty puddle in the street. He didn't care because he knew what this meant. I'd already made up my mind, finally. He grabbed my hand and said, Will you? I just said yes. Didn't even let him get the little part about marrying me. We just knew. And we laughed. That was a very good sign. That's awesome. Creepy freaking family. Stop staring at me. Oh, weird. Alright. Just float down. Alright. Let's get the hell out of here, guys. Uh, yep. Let's go, boys. What? What the hell? That was... What? Cool. Bruh. Bro, that freaking cat scared the hell out of me. So, where'd she go, huh? What clue would tell me where she's headed? Well, she's obviously going in the freaking um, police precinct, didn't she? Kill identity. What if witness mother's notes? Yeah, it's mother's notes. Achieve a lock. Make sure of sanctuary. Leave now. Find my book at the station and don't look back. The witness's destination. Witness headed to the police station and tracked down her mother's book. I mean, she has to be, right? I don't think that makes yeah. sense. She's headed to the police station to steal some book. She'll blend in well there. Do you know her mother worked for the police? Fine. Don't tell me. Puss. Back to the station. Chase the witness. Okay, so I just gotta go through the... I guess go through the town, I guess? Okay. Alright, boys. I will see you guys at the police station unless something, like, weird or interesting happens. What the hell is this? I did this. I talked him into this. Becoming a cop. I was lying dead in the street because of me. Rex's sense of guilt. Rex feels guilty for leading Ron into a life of police work. Dude. He chose to do it, though. Ronan chose it. Like, you may have talked him into it. Maybe even kind of bent his arm a little bit, but you know, he he chose to do it. I feel like that's kind of unfair. That doesn't look freaking creepy at all. Okay, well, anyways. Uh, wait, what was that? Okay, never mind. I thought I saw something. Alright, let's go. Today he asked and I honestly didn't know what to say. I want to be with him, I love him, but when he asked to marry me, I found myself unable to say anything. Like my voice was frozen and he just knelt there, my silence crushing him. Then he got up. It was five minutes before I could tell him I needed to think. But have I blown it now? Damn, that's hard. Like, that's worse than saying, like, that's worse than that's... Say, saying nothing is literally worse than, like saying yes or no like i feel like this you know it's not knowing that sucks all right there's something over here what is this oh it's that gas i 
Okay, there's something right here, too. Another note. Salem is supposed to be a quiet place, the kind of place where you can escape the problems of a big city, but it's getting to where I don't feel safe walking outside at night we in here anymore. I talked to Ronan about it, and he tries to assure me that he's that he's the most dangerous guy in this town. But the Vrado doesn't help much. Something is sick about this place. Ooh. This place is not creepy at all. Oh god. What have I done? No, 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 no. Hey, hey, hey. Calm down for a second and talk to me. What's your name? Uh, oh, uh. Brad. Good. Now, tell me what happened. I don't know. We were out on the town blowing off some steam. One drink turned into three, and three turned into... Who knows how many? God, the details are hazy. I, uh, I must have been driving Rick and Laura home when... Oh, God. I killed them. I'll never forgive myself for doing this. You don't know if you did. You said it yourself. The details are hazy. Now, I can take a look around here and see if anything jumps out at me. God... What have I done? Poor bastard. It was some car crash. So much to go on, but his brutal car crash might have some evidence that points to what happened that night. Scotch whiskey. Welcome bottle of Brad's favorite whiskey. Had a good sign. Yeah, really? This must be Brad's car. Car's for vanity plate. So I doubt this was Brad's car. It's not looking good. What is this? The purse? Uh -huh. Gas station receipt. It's not much, but it's something. I should check gas out the gas station. Not far from An SOC gas receipt from the night of the accident. It's a long shot, but I should check that area. Here, I should check it out. So she didn't okay? I didn't know you were such a lightweight. Oh great, she was fucked up too. Laura was in the middle of the filling up when she heard that loud noise and cut it short. What? What happened the night of the car crash? Vomiting man. Okay. Rick may have been drunk off his ass, but still, something startled him. Brad? Okay. Great. Brad making a call. Mr. Brad was trying to call a cab, but something scared on, scared him off before it could arrive. I kept hearing what sounded like glass shatter. Okay, okay, so I had to freaking click all of the pieces of evidence. That's so annoying. Okay. Mysterious bing. They all heard a loud bing that scared them off. If I could just figure out what they heard. Okay, now I'm on to the next bit. This one right here was the only one that didn't have anything to say. Aha! Aha! 
Shouldn't slam the door so hard. Stupid window's coming out of my paycheck. I was just so pissed at those drunken assholes. Who do they think has to clean up their puke? Jerks like that discourage business. I never should have let that woman drive off. I should have just called the cops. So... Brad wasn't driving after all. It was Laura. Well, I can't change what happened, but... He'll be glad to know he wasn't the one behind the wheel. In case she remembers a female driver, that could only mean one thing. Yeah, that sucks. I mean, this Lord was driving. He was not. That took so long for me to figure out. And it was just because I had to click on the evidence. That's so annoying. Alright, whatever. It's alright. All right, Brad. Does SOC gas ring any bells? Wait. Uh, I remember stopping to uh, fill up. You guys did more than fill up. The cashier wasn't thrilled to clean up after your buddy Rick. And you even tried to call a cab. God. I, I don't remember any of that. When the cashier came storming out, you guys took off with Laura behind the wheel. So, I wasn't driving. Oh. oh, that whole night was a disaster. It's hard to accept my part in things, but at least I know it wasn't all my fault. I don't uh, know what to say. Uh, thank you. No problem, buddy. Go and be in peace. And now we head to the police department. I just got an achievement called... Damn it. Carnage, sorry. I thought it said damage. Man, I can't read for shit. Alrighty. To the police department we go. Is that Baxter? Oh no, it's not. Okay, never mind. When were those trials? 1800s. Oh, what is that? Something shiny. Escorted by a knight. And for once I felt safe out at night. All the stories he told me about being the most dangerous man in Salem, they felt true. No one could touch us because no one could touch him. And I was with him. Am with him. Will be with him. I know it. Aw. It's I like it's actually really touching, like reading her notes about how much she loved him. Like it's just I don't know, it really brings like a just a wholesome bit to this. All this like darkness. Alright. You know what? Actually, let's not go inside just yet. Instead, I think I'm gonna go ahead and end that right here with uh us helping Brad. Um, and then I will go and I will see you guys in the next one where we are going to enter the police department and see if we can chase after, uh, this girl. I forget her name already. Holy crap. I feel so terrible. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell button. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Bye.